Hi and welcome to this DCP Word tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download a Google Map image. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and into Google search, I'm going to type in uh, Google My Maps. So I'm going to type in Google My Maps and I'm going to click on this link. So you need to be logged into your Google account. So I'm going to click get started here and I'm already logged into my Google account. I'm going to click this create button. When I click create button, it gives me an option to create a custom map. So in this search bar up here, I can search for anything. So I'm going to search for the London Eye. Maybe you visited the London Eye one time. Um, let's type in London Eye. And that's a place in London, right? So it's got the big sort of London Eye Ferris wheel right, right here. I'm going to zoom out a little bit because I want to kind of see a few other things on this map. Maybe you can zoom right out and you can see the London Eye here. You can see the rest of the map in the background. Or you can zoom in as close as you want. So you can zoom in and out using your mouse wheel. But if you right click, there's no real option to print this map or to save it as a JPEG file. You could screen capture it, but then you've got all of this content overlaid on top of it. So how do we get a nice JPEG version of this map? So the easy way to do that is zoom into the position that you want. Then click on these little three uh, dots here and then go to print map. And after you click print map, you want to set it to the largest size. You don't have to, but I normally set it to a large size. So it's A3 printed map. And I'm going to go to landscape and click image. And I'm going to click print button here. So a new screen will load up. And it's going to ask me to print this. I don't really want to print it. I want to save it. So I'm going to click cancel. And you can see the map in the background. We can drag this to one side and open up this folder on my desktop. And then we can go ahead and just drag and drop this picture into here. And we can just rename it map dash zero one right and we can check the size of it so we just right click and go to its properties and look at the details we can see it's 5152 by 3528 pixels this is way larger than what it was on the screen it's quite a nice high resolution map so if we open it and if we hold down the control key we can start to zoom in we can see that it doesn't pixelate it's quite quite a good high quality uh, version of the map and you can then just go and overlay other stuff in photoshop and do whatever you want uh, with this particular graphic right so if we close this and we expand it and we can go and search for other locations or we can just drag the mouse to a specific location that we want we can zoom right out and look at the whole of london right so here we can see the border of london the m25 we can maybe zoom in a little bit more uh, let's say about here should be pretty good. We can see the whole of London. We can go ahead and click here and go to print map, go to the A3 size, landscape. And you can also do it in portrait if you want, but I prefer landscape, click print. And here we can see, click cancel here. Now we can see the London map, right? So if we click here, drag this over to this side, we can minimize this now and we can call this map London-01. And we can go and open up this file and then we can zoom right in on this holistic view. I happen to live in Ilford, so it's got Ilford written there. That's where I live uh, in London. But now we've got a nice little sort of map that we can use um, for whatever, whatever purpose we want. So let's go ahead and close this. That's how you go, that, that's how you go about downloading a Google Map image um, using this uh, technique. So this is the technique that I use to download the Google Map image in high resolution file so really we want it in high resolution the other option is to just screen capture it so you could just go to the google maps here and you could screen capture this right but the, the resolution will only be at the screen at the size of your screen and it you know my screen is 1920 by 1080 however the map that we downloaded this one here is 5000 um 1, 5152 by 3000 528 so it's almost three times the size of what my screen is so that way we can open it and we can zoom right in without any pixelation so this is the advantage of doing it this way okay hopefully you find this tutorial useful that's the end of this video uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel where you can access over 750 free video tutorials on a wide range of subjects and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial